Okay, guys, Talon here in the shed. Back up to speed. Results. Well, I bit the bullet and got away with it. There you go. And the wife's doing fabulous. She's 95% back to what she was. Her walking's a bit slow, but everything else up to speed. And do you know the one good thing? I didn't have to learn the washing machine programs. <laughs> she covered, recovered in time to hit the button on the washing machine. <laughs> Can you imagine it? I just start pushing everything. Anyway, never mind that at the moment. This is a big thank you to everybody who commented and sent me messages and everything and stories. So many of you have gone through the similar. Uh, it's, un it's unreal. Uh, so a big thank you for all, all the uh, support and get well messages. And Barbara passes that on as well. I wanted her to come down here but she didn't want to didn't want to play on camera. <laughs> Can you blame it? <laughs> anyway, what I failed to tell you in the last film in the middle, because I said there was a little funny bit and I thought, no, I better not do this at the time. After the paramedics, well during the, the, the paramedics were checking Barbara over, she mentioned she should have been, a, we should have been, a, we should have been away at Milton Keynes, the model railway shop. So, so I had to explain that uh, I'm into model railways and uh, I stick it up on YouTube for a laugh from one thing or another, as you do. Uh, you just do the best you can, don't you? So he got quite interested. I says, oh, I'll show you if you want. He says, yeah, yeah, we'll just finish off what we're doing here and uh, we're due for a break, so I can pop down with you. I said, yeah, I can show you. Ten minutes, that's all it takes. So, <laughs> put all the gear back in the car and they come back down here. So, the first thing I showed him, <laughs> I'm laughing before it's there. Remember Doris, the vampire? <laughs> I'll show you now. For those who forgot or didn't know, I'll show you. Remember Doris, the vampire? <laughs> the box. <laughs> With Bob, Bob and Bob, the grave diggers. Remember, it was from the murder story, if you remember right. Good fun, wasn't it? Eh? And the flowers have all stayed together well. Fair dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a new vicar, by the way. So, there you go, guys. So it's been a it's been a manic four weeks. Yes, four weeks now since we got the COVID. Uh, it's took a while. Fair dues. Each day you feel a little improvement, which is good. And remember, having the jab doesn't stop you getting COVID. What it stops is getting you too ill that you end up in hospital. That's the plan of the vaccine. And that's why you need a booster for the winter. But anybody can get it any time. Anyway, let's move on now. We've had enough doom and gloom. <laughs> Apart from me. <laughs> so, what are we doing this week? Now, I ordered uh, Hunt couplings, which are here, uh, which I'll show you now, I'll film. Um, and the, the, the swivel ones for the TTAs. Now, you might see them running around in the background. I've had them running for an hour, no issues whatsoever with them. That's, that's the good thing about Hunt's couplings. Because they're in the center of the, the, uh, the, 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 the wagon, you don't get any left or right pulling. It's always pulling centrally. So it rides the rails perfect. And two thirds are on metal wheels and one third is on plastic wheels and no issues whatsoever. And the other little thing it turned up was the little camera that uh, Charlie Bishop demonstrated. And I'll show you a couple of clips of that of the quality of it. I'm quite impressed with the quality to be honest. Uh, but there is an issue with it which I explain in the film. All right. So, let's, let's get back up to speed and doing things. I've been coming down here on and off, 
one thing or another and each day I want to do more again you know the, the mojo's coming back and uh, getting some plans in the head to do little things I know it's a it's, it, the trouble is it's a big layout and there's a, an awful lot to look after never mind the cost <laughs> so, anyway once again thank you for all your comments well wishes support and stories supporting us together so let's get into the movie all right guys cheers <laughs> oh one thing i always forget one thing there's a one thing i always forget go and see robert's train set his last film he went to a museum down in uh, i don't know essex somewhere down there he'd done a fantastic uh, bit of filming with uh, an 060 shunting uh, train I think it's the one they use for Thomas the Tank because it's in blue and the way he's put it together, edited it and running it stunning Roberts, absolutely stunning it's well worth a, a, a check out guys ok right let's move on let's get into this movie otherwise I'll be here all day again <laughs> cheers guys So, we're here to go and uh, attempt to do these complaints on uh, the TTA tanks. And uh, what it is, I've got hunch couplings. That's the uh, standard mixed pack. They're all different lengths. Um, but these these have a swivel on them which is designed for these TTAs so I'm going to do my best find find the screw one to make it easier uh, to change it because most of these are riveted yeah they're all riveted whoops they're all riveted then so let me get a couple more out right guys what I'm going to do today is uh, put some hunt couplings okay onto me TTAs now these hunt couplings are uh, flexible if you can see they swivel you may have seen this on um, uh, Peter Dixon's uh, I've already done two as a test but what I want to do is um, make a production line sort of thing so there they are there that you can not you can see very well there we go you see? See how they swivel like that? If you keep them level. <laughs> Just gives it a bit more better operational. On third radius, they're about that gap. If you were on second radius, they would almost touch. So they're safe to use on second radius. Um, there's plenty of room on third radius. Okay? And because it's Hunt's couplings, uh, the Elite, that's how easy it is to get it apart. So you have no issues of getting it apart, okay, for storage purposes. Now the whole point of this, in the centre of that there, in the centre of the coupling, right there, there's a brass rivet. Some, some have screws, but these are brass riveted. And what you do is drill that rivet out and you end up with the coupling like that, okay? That's what you end up with. And all you do is super glue with the little pegs, because otherwise you're going to be spending a fortune on little screws. There's two little holes in the end of there, if I try and show you. There we are. It's two holes either side and they sit on little pegs 
on the underside of the tank. Okay? And all you do is just tack it with super glue. You don't have to soak it, it's a because of a, quite a uh, tight fit, so you've only got to tack it on. About a minute later, job done, and there it is in place. See, it swivels about. Um, what I'm going to do is fit these here and give it a test run. I've just given it a test run round, and there's no issues. But like I said, I'm going to set up a little bit of a production line and get these nine done now. Okay, back in a sec. Now what you've got to do is have a sharp drill because you've got to drill that rivet out of there okay, to get that coupling off and as long as you've got a sharp drill you have no issues and there's your coupling now they don't all go as easy as that trust me um, some uh, more difficult than others but you just have to take your time with it but as long as you've got a sharp drill there you go and there it is on the end the coupling so you can always use them again actually if necessary or the other way is actually take it off the chassis and drill from the opposite side um, there you go, see the rivets are there and they actually can pull them through if I can get, get hold of it doesn't want to get hold of no, that one's a bit tight that one but like I said, if you take take the tank off the chassis, you can can drill the other way, uh, and then you just put the tank back on the chassis. It's only it's only clipped into place. That's that's how you paint them. Okay. So let me get the glue out now. Back in a minute. Right. There's there's your. Uh, your positions you get your uh, hunt couplings okay and all I do is is that on those two little spigots all I do is, is dab a little bit of glue on each one you haven't got to do the center one so if you do it on the, the little things this way you haven't got the, the glue open all the time and there's a, there's a flat side to it, you can see on there here um, there's a difference from one side to the other ever so slightly and all you do is just push them onto the the little pins and you can see, see there's like a flat side and a rough side so I put the flat side down that way the magnets line up with everybody else everything else on here and uh, just push them into place so the seats uh, pretty squarely and that's that end up and if I swing swing it around to that There we go. Ah, put it the right way around. I'm having it that way around because the, the ladders are at the at the front. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And when you come to storage, all you do is pull them apart. And because they swivel, you have no issues where, where, uh, under running conditions. So what I'll do now. I'll do all these that's in front of me here, all these few here, and uh, and then we'll send it around on test with half, just these here. Okay, back in a minute. Right, what I've done is uh, done half of them, 
from here. All them behind now are all on Hunt's couplings. So we'll send them for a test before I finish the, uh, the rest off. So then first bunch is the old couplings and the rear bunch, rear 809, is on Hunt's couplings. I can't hear any derailments, can't hear any problems. Nope, they've all gone through there, okay. So what I'll do is uh, finish the rest off and I'll come back to you, okay? Right guys, there we go. All them, I think it's 16. All got Hunt's couplings on. And if I zoom in, too fat, there you go, that's what they are. And the whole point of this is so you can take them on and off your track. Obviously, you're not going to have space for 16, so all you do is, is that basically. And they couple up, simple as that, and pull apart so you can take them apart and store them. Okay, and uh, there's all the old ones. And basically you just drill out the centre rivet. Uh, some are easier than others. That's the centre rivet and them, them two little grooves there, they sit in the little, uh, little uh, spigots. But they're actually reusable if you want to use them, if you've got the screws uh, to use them. Well, there you go. And life will be a little bit easier now, I think. So what we need to do now is uh, do a test. Going around the layout. Now hopefully it'll go across the points all right. I think 10 or 12 have got steel wheels and there's a few still with plastic wheels. I need to uh, see if uh, I need derailment. I need derailed. Doesn't sound like. Yep. Job done, I think. Right, I'm not promoting them. It's just the fact that it works, that's all. Okay, and there they all are there. That's how they come in a pack of ten. Okay, so you can do uh, ten, ten uh, TTAs these are meant for, the TTA. But I'm also going to use what I've got left over on the TEAs. Because I've got ten there and I've got nine tankers I think. And I got some spares there, watch from the other packet. And this packet is the normal uh, connectors that's close coupling, intermediate, and along. Yeah, the different scenarios on your rolling stock. Okay, and there's 15 pairs in there, and they, that's how that, you can buy that like that five pairs of each which is ample really and there's one thing I'd just like to say I, I, I haven't done the one on the tractor unit on the the engine that is still got a, a decoupling on and the same with the first wagon okay so, so if I stop it here now In fact, I'll back it up a bit so we can see what we're doing. Right, let's zoom in. Right, I've left the decoupling on there because I can use this with anything. 
because if I put a Hunt's coupling on, obviously whatever rolling stock I'm going to pull has got to have a Hunt's coupling. So I leave a decoupling on on the the engine and the first tanker there. But as for the rest, they're all Hunt's couplings, okay? And if I pull it forward now, um, I'll show you the rear end. What I've done there. And because I know it's the rear end, what I've done is put a tail lamp with no coupling on. Okay? And I know that one's the rear tank. So the front one's got a decoupling, the rear tank's got a rear light on it, and the rest are all horns coupling, so it makes life easier for me. And because they, they're a delete, They'll, they'll, they'll couple up in any combination, okay? Not like the old ones where it was an A and a B, gold and silver ends. Alright, so that's, the, that's that so far. So I'll just run these now for the next 10 minutes or so on the test. And uh, at various speeds to see how it goes. And here she comes back round. And what I've used to drill out the uh, the rivet is a two millimeter drill. Okay. Just a, a, a simple two millimeter drill bit. And that's all done. And for God's sake, watch what you're doing, because I stuck a drill through my finger. <laughs> Oh dear, dear dear, I told you we'd have uh, a smashing time. So, there you go. That's that done. Um, and the next little project will be the TEAs, the 100 ton tankers. I'm going to have a go at doing them next. But, uh, as for that, they're running smoothly. That'll do for this week's little project. And the thing with that, you know, remember, you can always reverse hunt couplings. That's the good thing about them. So apart from the uh, TTA tankers being done, what else is under test is the, the RHTTs. And I've had no issues whatsoever with it. And uh, it's all metal chassis just like a container chassis yeah so they're quite heavy so I'll fetch them round now and they're, they're, they're doing okay no issues they seem to be all lined up there's no kinks or anything on them um, as, as for these, a lot of people have demonstrated, so you, you know uh, the main thing about it. Okay. Well, this is the water treatment train. And the generator's in the middle there. It's that time of year. And it's really sweet as a nut. It's a nice piece of kit to have on the layout, so just gives it a bit of, bit of difference, doesn't it? Not your normal poppers and what have you. Should be good for filming. Do you know this diesel really suits this? Quite happy with that. And the other thing I've got running today is, uh, what do they call it? <laughs> Ballard. Uh, the TTAs are still going around brilliantly.
no issues whatsoever with them couplings on. In fact, it's it's better, more stable. Brilliant. Got a little job out of the way. And the good old Hornby is pulling them 16 of them. No issues.